Your customized embodied model is a highly precise, anatomically accurate, 3D printed model of the abdominal aorta and its branches. The model was created from real CT scan data. Its dimensions, both inside and outside, precisely replicate those of a real patient. The model is perfect for device testing and physician education. In this video, we will deploy endovascular coils into an artery exactly as it would be done in a real procedure. The model contains all the major branches of the abdominal aorta. There is particular emphasis on the celiac and hepatic arteries. These vessels are important for endovascular interventions involving the liver, such as chemoembolization and yttrium-90 radioembolization, and upper GI tract such as embolization for upper GI hemorrhage. Five orders of arterial branching are present in the hepatic arteries, which is an exquisite level of vascular detail. Start by placing your model on a flat surface. As you will be getting the model wet, you may want to place it on an absorbent material like a towel. If the model is going to be utilized extensively, you may want to secure it with clothes pins or a clamp to prevent it from sliding. Next, you'll want to select a base catheter. In this case, I've selected a 5 French Sauce Select catheter, which is my workhorse for celiac interventions. A Simmons 1 catheter or Cobra catheter would also work well. Advance the catheter into the abdominal aorta until the catheter is just past the origin of the celiac artery. Make sure the catheter is oriented in the proper position. Then, gently pull back in the catheter until the catheter tip engages the celiac artery origin. Next, choose a microcatheter that will fit within the base catheter. In this instance, I've selected a Marksman microcatheter. Choose a microwire to guide the microcatheter. This is a Fathom 16 wire. Make sure that there's a slight bend at the wire tip so that it can be navigated. Flush the microcatheter with water. The catheters are hydrophilic and become much more slippery when wet. In a real procedure, sterile saline is used, but in this instance, ordinary tap water is fine. Load the microwire into the microcatheter. Stop advancing the microwire right after it comes out of the tip of the microcatheter. Retract the wire if necessary until the wire is just past the tip of the microcatheter. Load the microcatheter microwire combination into the base catheter. In a real procedure, I would also use a 2 heborst Y adapter to prevent blood leakage, but in this model, it is not necessary. Make sure that you have flushed the base catheter so that the microcatheter can slide through it. After you have everything set up, you should have the microwire within the microcatheter and the microcatheter within the base catheter. Now we are ready to catheterize some arteries using our microcatheter. You may want to secure your base catheter by placing a towel on it to prevent it from sliding. Gently advance the microwire into your target vessel. If you have placed a gentle curve on the wire tip, you can torque the wire to select the vessel you want. A torque device on the back end of the wire may be helpful. When you have selected your target vessel using the wire, pinch the wire to prevent it from moving and slowly advance the microcatheter over the wire into your target vessel. At this point, I'd like to take a moment to give you a tip on good lighting. The model is transparent, but it is also glossy. If you are viewing the model through a magnified video camera and have bright lights directly on it, glare off the glossy surface may obscure your catheters and wires. If you can backlight the model, then the catheters and wires are visible in exquisite detail, certainly better than can be seen in a real angiography suite. Our objective at this point is to deploy an endovascular coil in the gastroduodenal artery, or GDA. 
This is commonly performed for upper GI bleeding or in preparation for yttrium-90 radioembolization to treat liver tumors. Advance your microwire into the GDA. Torque it if necessary such that the curved wire tip heads in the proper direction. If you encounter resistance, a little bit of water may be necessary to lubricate the model surface to make it slippery. Once the wire is in the proper position, pinch it to immobilize it and push the microcatheter over the wire into the GDA. Advance your microcatheter just beyond where you want to deploy your coils. Remove the microwire and gently retract the microcatheter until the catheter tip is in the position where you want your coils deployed. Advance your coil into the microcatheter until it begins to deploy out of the catheter tip. Push the coil out of the microcatheter slowly. When you're happy with its position, you can detach it. Your aortic model has three access ports that are strategically positioned to allow you to retrieve coils that are deployed within the hepatic arteries and their branches. To retrieve a coil deployed in your model, start with a small paperclip. Straighten out the paperclip, leaving only a single bend at one end. Using a set of needle nose pliers, create a tight bend at the straightened end of the paperclip. This will essentially create a small hook. Use the small hook to gently capture and retrieve the coil through the appropriate access port. Take care not to unduly scratch the inner surface of the model. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you find your embodied, customized, 3D printed aortic model to be of great use. If you have questions or are interested in a customized 3D printed vascular or anatomic model, please contact us at info at embodied.com or visit our website at www.embodied.com. That's E-M-B-O-D-I-3-D.com. Have a nice day.